What's up, mi gente? It's your girl, Glamour Puss MD here, and today we're talking about the differences between an A spot, a C spot, and a G spot. Like, what? Make sure to subscribe below if you like my videos, dislike my videos if you dislike my videos. Either way, leave a comment so that I know what the hell's going through your mind and what you even want to know about. I want to hear from you regardless if it's positive or negative. Additionally, you could follow me on Instagram and DM me with any questions that you have there. So let's go grab life by the pussy and talk about sex. By the end of this video, you'll know the difference between an A spot, a C spot, and a G spot. And honestly, before even researching this video, I had no idea what any of these were. I think, honestly, it's just code names that like sex psychologists created to make more G spot names, but I'll tell you all about it. Now, finding these spots requires us to take a deep dive into the female anatomy. If you wanna learn more about the female anatomy, check out this video right here. It's also up there. Now, not every girl will have a orgasm via stimulation of her G spot. With that being said, even if you know where it is, you might not be stimulated by it, which is perfectly fine, but test it out. That is the importance of masturbation. Watch all of my videos on masturbation if you wanna know more. All of these. So where's the G-spot? The G-spot's in your vagina and it's a textured area, very shallow within your vagina, that you could feel if you just go in just a little bit. And it has ridges and you can feel it and maybe turn it on by doing a come here motion towards your stomach. Like you wanna do the come here towards your stomach. Make sure that your fingernails are short. You don't wanna cut the inside of your vagina and get an infection. So make sure your fingernails are short. Whenever that was done to me, I actually, nothing much happened. So I don't know if that G spot is turned on for me, but some people say that you could hit this spot either in a cowgirl at a 45 degree angle, like while you're having sex or different doggy style variations. Next is the C spot. This is just a clever name for your clitoris. The clitoris is bean shaped on the outside, but wishbone shaped on the inside. So it's actually a lot larger internally. The sole function of the clitoris is pleasure. So you want to think about the clitoris as just the tip of the iceberg. You could actually get turned on by touching really like anywhere around your labia majora and labia minora. If you want to know more about labias, you could watch my anatomy video up here. Your last spot is the A spot. The A spot is about two inches higher than your G spot. So it, again, it's inside the vagina and it could be uncomfortable for some women. So if you're trying to go deep to get the A spot, you wanna check in with her to make sure that it's pleasurable and not painful for her. You also could reach this with deep penetration from a penis or a strap on or another kind of sex toy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, whether you liked it or disliked it, leave a comment below to tell me why. I want to hear from you. And remember, get dirty, but stay safe.